hey internet how you going welcome to another episode of the john grave show and today i have this guy with me deshaun from deshaun ross show who's wiggling his glasses man like he's been like a scholar and shit stop that you anime bastard you gotta do that so yeah there has been a there has been a question that has been on bed on my mind ever since this series came out and it's dragon ball gt or at least yeah and for some reason I like the series. I know I thought that it went over pretty well with a lot of people, but for some reason, every single time I go online, every single time I talk to people, every, every single time like this show is brought up, somebody hates it. And I don't necessarily understand why. I mean, I have a few ideas, but I don't know why they hate it. I'll just tell you one major idea of it. Uh, this is one reason, because Akira Toriyama ain't had nothing to do with it. I know one of his like his assistant. I believe that she was his assistant that knew the art style that was working closely with him. Like they say, for instance, like how me and him write books together, he know the style of the story. And let's say I decide not to work on the story, don't worry, we got famous. Actually, and he no. did it by himself. Actually, they no, hate I, it. Actually, no, I don't think it's me. I think it's like if somebody who that we work with, like through like our other books and whatnot. You know how like some people man how like that that they create care characters and then 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 they make a spinoff you know like how like if um a deandre did that mm. if he said okay i'm about to make a spinoff story and then just made a story or steve made a spinoff story with his character in the universe if you might not like it it might not get received well that's how it is but um when it comes to gt i actually like gt to be honest with you brought the original dragon ball feel to it plus everything that you love in dragon ball z the only thing that was wrong with gt that i could actually see was that the fight wasn't, you know, the fighting wasn't as long as it was in Dragon Ball Z. I mean, the freezer fight was like, what, three hours and 25 minutes? I mean, we ain't that get that fight, in GT. That fight was prolonged like fuck, I swear. But, I mean, like, like the Namek Saga was like the longest one for the original Dragon Ball, but I'm like, I can see that 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 GT probably didn't have a pretty good beginning because how it started off was they now have to, that that they're not on earth anymore the whole story is or at least like the first story was we have to go out into space and get the black star dragon balls right okay you know they got the black star dragon dragon balls back and then that's when the baby thing happened which was actually a really good um story storyline but then i guess that but i guess that how they handled it with, with the black star dragon ball thing of him making a wish on those to bring back the truffle planet and then blew up earth you know i mean like some of those things they are a bit bit Did questionable. He brought earth? no he just took them off of earth man. he wished that the truffle planet was back and then he wished for every for everybody who that he infected to now be on the truffle planet i know he didn't blow up earth you know, goku but, looked at earth he thought what a moon and transform no 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 no, I'm, no 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 i mean like that that um the earth blew up in that one because um, I don't remember. Because that's how Piccolo died. Because Piccolo was in the Earth's core and just trying to stop the Earth from blowing up and shit. Then it just blew up. Because I thought Piccolo died because Gohan shot the command mail at him. Mm -mm. He didn't die from that. But I don't know. I got to rewatch it. It's been a while. Because you know the whole like them coming out of hell storyline, the whole thing, man, with the Super Seventeen thing, all like. Even like the dragon story, like all that was was fucking pretty interesting. I just don't get why people why they hate it because they hate the art style. They hate which it. actually looks better than the original. They like I said, this is you know the over top fanboy. They hate the <laughs> fact that it's not canon. This is all just a waste of time. Then don't then they show never watch it. I mean, you coming into the series that do that, why waste your time watching it? To me personally, I think that Dragon Ball GT is better than Super. It is. Actually, I think that GT is better than some parts in actual Dragon Ball Z, because at least like story story wise anyway. Because 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 for everybody out there who did watch the Boo Saga, like if you actually watched it, a good a good a good chunk of that is just Hercule running around this fucking like hut with Boo, trying man to give him can candy and do his dishes like. That's like a major chunk of like whatever the fuck that was, and don't get me wrong. I mean, like the whole super, the whole super boo thing of him, like going and like eradicating Earth and shit, or like like um, um like 
making everybody on planet Earth extinct. Like, that's cool and all, but I'm like, other than that, like, there is a whole bunch of, like, draggy scenes, like, before that. Namely, with the whole thing of them men, like, trying men to, like, do this whole world martial art tournament shit. And then they scrap the one story with, with Gohan being the main character. They scrap that. And then and they just brought Goku back. And it was like, okay. Well, shit. I mean, uh, Kira's trying to make Gohan become a Power Ranger. So, I guess that puts off, you know, it pissed off a few people. And they ain't like him. Yeah. Yeah. But... Because I'm like, again, I, because I actually believe that what's name actually killed his character. His most badass moment killed any, kill, kill, killed his future development. Yo, because he was uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Huh? Because he was the strongest character in the series at 11. And then afterwards, like after that, anything that you do with that char 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 character, if he's not doing what Goku did, they don't fucking care about his his character. If he's not eating, fucking his wife, and and training, then they they don't give a fuck about him as a character. They want to see him in high school. They want to see him kind of get friends and be a teenager. Don't see that shit. Even though that would have been cool, because that because I did re, um, a rewatch when he went. Actually, Super I Saiyan thought about something. He was actually pretty badass. There. The one thing that they did do hate about GT, to be honest with you, it pan. And they see is a very irritating ass character. Actually, I don't really see her as a very irritating character because I because actually another thing also pissed them off too was the fact that Trunks went 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 to space with with Goku and not Goten. That that's also another thing because for some reason people really wanted man to see Go Tanks again. And they're like we we really want to see him. And the one time man were like they would have fused and shit. They said Go we better not. Goku told not to. It was like, we probably should. And it was like, we probably shouldn't. Yeah, because you just robbed them. They want to see Go Tank as an asteroid at dope. And then, you know, they wanted Trunks to go. But Pan hopped on the ship and pressed the fucking button. Does uh, making them leave Go Tank down there. Hmm. That did piss off a lot of people. It did. Yeah, I know. But I'm like, that's not something that I'm really willing to now, look at it as this is a terrible series because of that. And another thing is that... um. Go on, he wasn't as weak in there either. He still was capable. He still was able to go to Super Saiyan. He still kicked. He still beat Vegeta ass. <laughs> he was putting. He was putting hands on every damn body. <laughs> so, Go on was pretty strong too. Was capable back then too. He was still able to go to Super Saiyan mode too. But this Go on is super. Uh, I haven't been training. I can't sustain Super Saiyan for so long. I'm like, what the fuck? Unless this one is supposed to sort of bridge the gap between. Super, and, I mean, between the older ones and this one, because Oob is a little bit older and older in these. But then again, Pan was kind of already born around that time that Oob, Oob came into uh, the mix. You see, Oob probably like fifteen. He like a like like three years older than Pan, or two. I don't know. He, I think they're around the same age, ain't they? I think he's a little older than her. No, yeah, cause you know, me over back at the end of Dragon Ball GT, he was like a kid, and she was like a little baby, like six years old. Mm. Because, four. because I guess at that time, I guess that that's supposed to be like like the bridge between Super and GT, so so that they can make it maybe make it canon. But like, if you actually look at it like that though, which I know that a lot of fans that they will say that this isn't. If that was the case, it would pretty much answer a lot of questions as uh, like as to why the fuck Oob isn't in this goddamn series right now. Because let me explain. And why Gohan Oof, actually was Oof show able to be asked in the Oof, thing. Oof show up four years later. Cause remember, no, like two years. No, yeah, four years later. Pan was four years old in that tournament. Pan still a baby, so he showed four, up four, four, four years from now. Four, four, four or six. So if that's the case, that means Goku could go Super Saiyan more God in that tournament. Unless he didn't even think about that shit and just said Super Saiyan Four is better than that. Which I think that actually does piss off fans so a little bit more. Super Saiyan 4 is Super Saiyan God. I mean, at least if you had to look at Goku versus Superman, at least he goes Super Saiyan 4, he make every day just turn dark when you do it. Oh, yeah. He has his his powers become way more primitive, and he can actually affect the weather now, so that is pretty cool. But other than that, though, it's like most of the fan hate, I still don't fucking get it because a lot of the because a lot of the stories, a lot of the villains, and a lot of the another thing they ain't like how a seal head was shaped. That's a petty ass reason. It's a lot. It's a lot of reason, man. People that's 
I mean, like, I'm like, it's a thing to hate it because, like, it's a bad series, but it's another thing to hate it, hate it because it's not canon or it's not, or at least, man, like, the original creator that that they didn't do this or that they didn't do that or that you have this little nitpicky like art style thing of, of me saying like, I don't like this series because like their arms are too big. Like, what, like, what the fuck does that have to? Have to what does that have to do with anything? I don't like the fact that Goku is a little kid. Super Saiyan little kid Goku badass. Well, man, he's still fighting and beating ass, so what the fuck is the problem? And I still think that Super Saiyan 4 was one of the most beautiful transformations in the entire series. The 4 or the 1? 4. Yeah. And it's, it's more simplistic, but, you know, it's, like, it's actually rather way more... And I still like that one epic scene that I could just replay all game with Gohan, with Goku, about to fight Baby. <laughs> like, I got to do Till, like, what you'll do, fling your poo at me? Then he went to Super Saiyan Mode 1, then 2, then he went to 3. That's what was cold as hell when he did that transformation. It was cold. A few things that I didn't like, though, is when he was fighting um, Freezer and Cell and, like, in hell. And Goku was able to destroy him while not even going to Super Saiyan. Honestly, at that point in his life, I believe Goku probably should have. At that point in his life, he probably should have been able, man, to, like, just destroy them with, like, no fucking effort whatsoever. Only thing I noticed that Dragon Ball and Super have a flaw, though. God, I said, you know that Frieza look like ugly, astound that Vegeta go Super Saiyan. But when you see him with Boo and Vegeta and them were fighting, uh, Frieza was actually looking at him on the actual TV. He was able, able to see everything. And he seen what Goku was doing. So why would you surprise that Vegeta was able to go to Super Saiyan? It don't make sense. To, I guess Super Saiyan God? No, no, Super Saiyan. Like, I've been a Super Saiyan for years. You see the movie. Oh, yeah, they have one. I was looking like. So you know that already? Unless that's the, they can't even recon that that, that fucking scene out. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but like I look at that though, and I'm like, this whole like Super Saiyan. I think I look at Dragon Z too much. I mean, like this Golden Freezer shit, it was fine, but again, it's something that that probably should have been left to the movies because still, again. It's something that really just kind of bothered me because I'm like, I get it. Frieza is like their most heated villain, but the problem with Frieza being one of their heated villains and shit is the fact that you probably shouldn't have had him come back for one movie just to have him die at the end because, again, if this is Frieza, he's coming back and he wants to get way more powerful and he wants to get his re revenge on them, then... He probably should have came back, man, for more than one one uh, film. You and know? show us a ten minute fight. You know, especially like in Super, where like they had to spread the fucking fight out and shit, to where that Vegeta like just came and just whipped his ass like at the end. You know what I mean? He, I mean Vegeta beat the shit out of him. But then again, that kind of points out some shit that I said in my review of that of saying that of saying that if this was supposed to be. The best that whatever a Toriyama has pretty much presented to us, then hey, GT kind of already like mopped the floor with that shit. Now, don't get me wrong, this is adding to the universe, it's adding to the lore and shit. But, but I'm like, I don't know where the series is going. Going up of mirror, you know, Super Saiyan gods talking about other universes, talking about Golden Frieza. Like, I don't know what the fuck Golden Frieza even came came from. That's just. That didn't even show us him training. That's just some random shit that he just gained. It's like, okay, so now, like, I guess we need, man, something, man, for the Super Saiyan gods to fight. So, what's out there? Golden Freezer, because he's a Kai who trained for four months and then just gained this random ass ability. And then another thing about GT that pissed people off is the fact that Pan couldn't go Super Saiyan, but they made Goku and Vegeta Jr. go Super Saiyan. And they didn't even know what the fuck Super Saiyan was. And they were. More of a less of a saying than what Pan was. Very true. So you know, some shit didn't make sense. Some of that shit it makes sense. Some of it doesn't. But I believe it's mostly to the fact of that they just said that. Well, no, it's safer to say that just just don't make female Super Saiyans because you know, anger I, runs those fucking things and shit. So you know, and like like anger runs that it runs that fucking race. So it's hard to say. Yep, but we just gonna end this video. Anyway, tell you guys, <sighs> stink and you end it. It's your video. <sighs> <laughs> hey, internet, telling everybody goodbye. I'll see you guys on the next John Grave show. It's cold as fuck in this car because nigga, the window open. It's cold as shit out there. Genius.
Now the heat back on. It's about to like just melt me in here. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next John Grave show. Please check out this asshole's channel. I'll leave an annotation over his glasses. Oh god, keep watching anime, keep playing video. Don't games. you steal my shit, nigga. And Ria is out of here. Peace. I see. Stay still. See you guys next time because he cut me off, you bastard.